Hello, I'm State Senator John Bumstead. Michigan is rich in natural resources, but none are more important than our clean water. I believe we should actively protect the water in our lakes and rivers, as well as the drinking water entering the pipes of our homes. I recently introduced Senate Bill 565 that invests $2.5 billion to strengthen our commitment to clean water. Today I'll be traveling around Muskegon, Nuego, and Oceana counties to show how Senate Bill 565 will provide additional resources to protect the water right here in our backyards. We're in front of the Muskegon County Airport. The airport was previously used as a site for firefighter training. Firefighter foam used in training contains a chemical known as PFAS. Residential wells were sampled around the airport and PFAS was detected in a few nearby homes. Testing continues to occur and groundwater monitoring wells have been installed to determine the amount of PFAS pollution. Senate Bill 565 includes funding to create a grant program that would assist with cleanup of PFAS pollution across the state. The grants could be used to protect the drinking water, groundwater, or surface water right by the airport. We're standing at a site for a potential development in downtown Muskegon. The property owners are hoping to turn this unused land into developed property, but they are working with the state on plans to mitigate nearby wetlands. Senate Bill 565 would create a wetlands mitigation grant program that would impact properties across the state, including sites like this. The grant program would assist economic development opportunities, wetlands replacement efforts that are necessary for these projects to move forward. Clean drinking water is important for the health of our residents, and it should never be something students worry about in school. Schools like Whitehall High School would benefit from Senate Bill 565's grants to provide schools with funding to purchase and install filtered drinking water stations. Every student in our state should have the same access to clean and safe drinking water, and Senate Bill 565 would give every public school the resources to meet that goal. Farms like the Dreider Farms use irrigated water for many of their crops. It is critical that farmers protect their agricultural water source to minimize the potential for pollution or contamination. Senate Bill 565 creates a grant program to help farmers maintain the highest water quality standards to use for their crops and livestock. Grants are also available for local conservation districts to assist farms in the need of assistance in improving the water quality on their farms. The Ryder Farms and agriculture across our state will benefit from the water quality improvement grants available in Senate Bill 565. As wastewater treatment infrastructure ages, it is important that our local communities have the funding to construct or replace existing infrastructure. Senate Bill 565 provides grants to help cities and villages upgrade, construct, or replace existing wastewater facilities. Funding is also included to increase the state revolving fund to expand opportunities for cities and villages to construct water pollution control projects. These funds will help communities across our state upgrade their water treatment systems to handle increased capacity needs for years to come. We're in downtown Nuego where M37 is being reconstructed. The city of Nuego has partnered with MDOT to replace existing water service lines. Changes in Michigan law require local communities to remove and replace all lead water service lines within the next 20 years. Senate Bill 565 includes a grant program to offer a grant to help local governments replace existing lead service lines. Every family deserves to know that the water coming out of their tap is safe to use and drink, and that this grant program will help to ensure communities across our state can trust their, in their drinking water. Senate Bill 565 uses one-time federal funding to significantly improve Michigan's aging water infrastructure. Taking a proactive approach to upgrading to and improving our water infrastructure will ensure Michiganders have clean water for generations to come.